Welcome everyone. How is everyone doing out there around the globe tonight? Uh, tonight I thought I'd speak a little bit and then we'd open up for some questions. Uh, just this last week, Hippocrates agreed to engage in a new study on a product that we've been using very successfully out of Japan for a few months on people with very serious irritable bowel syndrome uh, digestive and elimination disorders. Uh, in Japan, they've been observing uh, scientifically that this new form of probiotic, which is a fermented bacteria, it's called SIGIN, has been helping people with every form of disease, and they specifically started to realize that those people who were consuming it during chemotherapy and radiation were displaying a different impact than the normal public without the use. Uh, their hair was not falling out. The Hemoglobin levels were staying strong, oxygen levels in the bloodstream, etc. So they asked if in the United States uh, we would be able to do a study on 125,000 people on three forms of cancer. And so we're going to start to use this in a double blind study and begin it. We've been engaged over the last month in a study with Dr. Fontana out of Washington University, St. Louis, one of our strong and fine medical schools here in America. Uh, Dr. Fontana, you may know from the fame of doing uh, past research on raw food consumption and the good effects it's had on human beings, including bone density, etc. This specific study we're doing for Washington University is targeting on the reduction of cholesterol and lipids within the bloodstream. Uh, our data has been indicating that we receive approximately a 50-point drop in cholesterol uh, during the three-week program. Uh, during the three-week program, there's approximately 15 to 16 days between the very first blood test that was taken that indicates lipids, and before they leave and graduate on the third week, uh, the last blood test. And we think that what we're going to be showing is a solid 50 points and hopefully, he believes, we can have this published in a mainstream, prestigious medical journal. And this will blow the ceiling off uh, a lot of the preconceived notions that lipid is going to take uh, pharmaceutical drugs and long-term usage, et cetera, et cetera. That's not what we've experienced here for the last 52 years. Additionally, um, we are awaiting funding, hopeful funding, from the National Institute of Health here at Hippocrates, in uh, coordination with Jackson Memorial, which is a Miami University offshoot. Uh, we are fortunate that the Miami pediatric team, one of the most prestigious teams on earth, who are every day on the front line of dealing with children and the diseases they've contracted because of our very ill society and our sickness and how we eat, etc. Such things as cancer and it's becoming more prominent in the brain and uh, diabetes is, is just rampant within that community, cardiovascular disease. and What they did is they came to me a number of months ago in their frustration and said, look, it, what we'd like to do is team up with you and use a living food program and see how it can help to affect and to prevent these different diseases children have. And if the funding comes through, this will be an exciting uh, event in the field of complementary health care, as well as put living food squarely where we've desired it being for decades. And that's in a position where we can analyze at the highest level of science the mechanical effects that the food has on the prevention and elimination of these diseases. Now, the time has come, people. You know, a lot of you out there think there's still uh, the, the they and us. There's not the they and us. The earth is loaded with people who all need to be healthy today. Uh, I don't know any thinking woman, any thinking man around the globe who is not congruent and intelligent enough to realize that health doesn't come out of a bottle and health certainly doesn't come out of only visiting a doctor. That health comes out of choices, the choices we make every day for ourselves and our family. And because of that new found revelation within modern humanity, I have a lot of hope and I believe that we're going to be coming into a whole new era, a whole new generation, and leaving the new age and going to the right age. 
and the right age is basically the age of total and absolute conscious awareness about every action that we involve ourselves with as a human race. And that is going to give us the ability and the strength that nature and God intended for us to have throughout our history. And our history cer certainly has not been illustrious, but I believe that if we pull it together individually and then work together globally, that we will come back to the grace that we were meant to have to begin with.